Hello, I'm Wrench, and I'm setting up to do an Elite Four run through the Johto Elite Four in Pokemon Soul Silver. I'm still playing a hardcore Nuzlocke. I'm still uh, doing my best to get things done without getting too many Pokemon killed. I am posting where I'm streaming to a couple of places. And I have my team. There's a couple things that I still need to do before I actually challenge the Elite Four. And I'm also going to give just a little bit of time for anybody who happens to be running a little late to arrive in case they are coming. Because, you know, it's the Elite Four. I'm hoping that a few people are interested in seeing so. Seeing that. For now, I'm going to move my Noctowl into the team so that I can fly my way. I don't remember where I left off. I did a couple of things off stream just to get ready. Uh, one of them was come here to buy like Carbos and other things to improve my base stats. I saved a little bit of money. Um, I don't want to go into the next phase of the game with absolutely no money and no resources, but uh, I know if I die here, then saving money is kind of silly. So I'm going to head to Goldenrod. I played so much Voltorb Flip. I considered for a little while becoming a Voltorb Flip streamer instead of uh, doing what I do, uh, but no, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Pokemon Nuzlocking for now. Uh, Voltorb Flip Flip is just a little too high energy, fast paced. I just can't really keep up with it. So, All right, this is where I repurchase the Thunderbolt TM that I accidentally overwrote. So that was exciting. All right. And while I am here, let us go into that TM pocket, grab Thunderbolt, and teach it once again to Whiskey. and lose Charge Beam. Alright, so that is the end of Charge Beam. We have Thunderbolt again. We don't have to play Voltorb Flip for a little while at least. Alright, and I'm gonna go... Well, hello, Griff. You're, you're sad that I don't have to play Voltorb Flip anymore? Uh, what am I doing? I'm gonna warm myself up just a little. Give some others. I've, I've heard there's a few other people that are planning on attending, so I'm gonna give them a little time to arrive by heading to the Pokeathlon. In case some of these Pokemon are seeing their last... I did get the Soft Sand. I'm not currently using it. I'll, I'll uh, go over my items when I'm headed toward uh, finalizing the Elite Four. Uh, but I'm not currently using it in place of an Iron Ball. Uh, let's see. Pretty sure I've got a jump metal. I hate the skill course. I don't think I ever got the power or stamina, so we're gonna give those a try. It slows you down, but allows you to have uh, ground moves hit flying and levitating things. No, wait, I want my Machoke. Grounds you, not the other way around. What? No, it... Here. Um, bag. Not bag. It's not in the bag. It's on my Pokemon. 
item. Uh, I want to look at the item, so summary, I guess. Bollocks. Item, take. Bag. Do, do, do. It makes flying type and le levitating holders susceptible to ground moves. Oh! So it doesn't let me hit them? It makes it so that I can get hit? Wait, why would I want that? If I have an item that lets me swap, or a, an ability that lets me swap their item. And Trick Room. Well, thank you for telling me that. That could have gone very poorly. Okay, I am having an issue with Bulbapedia right now. So... Yeah, that would have been bad. In that case, we're going to give it the soft sand. I thought that was a really clever solution, but that's not what that item does. And I was going to grab my Machoke. Bum, 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 bum. That would have been real upsetting when I tried to use it on a flying type and it didn't work. Let's get us a power metal. Pokeathlon power course. You know me? What? Right, I'm most concerned about the yellow team. Block smash. I know how this one works anyway. Pokeathlon forever. Alright, a strong showing, but that's my best event. Alright, this is not my best event. Mm. 
Oh no, one of my Pokemon got moved out. Dang it. Alright, everybody in a circle. Push and shove, push and shove, push and shove. Meh. No, no. I don't think I got any points that round. That round ended quickly. Did one of my Pokemon get pushed off the board? Dang it. Alright, I think I did okay. I don't think I won. Oh, I did win! Neat. And we've got... Oh, this is my least... I'm bad at this one. Alright, team. Why did I do that? Nope. Nope! Balls. weird. Nope! Somebody! Damn it. As always, we have zero points in this event. Oh, I scored on myself. Great. Nope. Mina, get it out of there! Good job. Mina, no! Good job. Oh god, Mina, you're running across the entire field. No! Mina, get it! No! Somebody! Mina! I got a point. I'll take one point. This is not Voltorb Flip, I'm sorry. Voltorb Flip is just too high energy. This was a very close competition. Alright. Who is overflowing with fighting spirit? I've never understood how these points are awarded. Oh, I don't think my team is getting any no-miss bonuses. Oh. Hooray! Good job, Mina. Alright, Swinub. Alright, so we're behind yellow a little going into the actual event rounds. But we won the first two events and tied for first in the third event, so I'm pretty confident. Hey! Team Wrench Fem wins the power medal. Good job, team. Pokeathlon forever. Okay. So, I am gonna ride that victory into the Elite Four. Thank you for 353 points. So at the very least, something something good has been accomplished today. Even if I go into the Elite Four and wipe to the first trainer, we're still successful. Alright, so we're gonna grab my Noctowl. Not that's that's not how you do that. 
come on to the team for the purposes of flying us to the Elite Four. And I will go over what I've got in case there's any terrible things that I've mis made mistakes on, like uh, Griff helped me avoid to go. The Indigo Plateau. The ultimate goal for trainers. Alright. Uh, first, we get our actual team member back. Quag. No, no, no. Yes. Okay. So. Let's start with what I've got in terms of items. I know I can't use them in battle, but I ha <clears throat> have them for between uh, between battles. Um, I've got some max elixir, some regular elixir, some ether, all of that for restoring power points between battles. I've got six full restores in case of uh, serious problems with my Pokémon. I've got enough Hyper and Max Potions to heal all of my Pokémon up between all the battles. Uh, I've got some other miscellaneous stuff besides. I've got 32 full heals, so each of my Pokémon can have a status condition other than dead uh, between each of the fights. Uh, I think that's all... The, uh, my, one of my real failings is, unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of good berries. Um, I've got berry pots that I've been cultivating and they're starting to grow but they're nowhere near enough and I'm not gonna sit around waiting for these plants to grow um, despite them being pretty good ones I've got uh, anti-burn chesto for anti-sleep I think lepo which is power points and Orin, which is healing um, on my Pokemon themselves, I have bright powder on tiny for the mischance and the reason that I have that is because I am running Focus Punch. Uh, the main plan is for Focus Punch to only really be used after Hypnosis or uh, Yawn from Quagsire, but uh, Bright Powder is also another opportunity for them to miss. Um, I've got a Magnet on Whiskey for the electric damage, and let's just make sure I did do Thunderbolt. Good. Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, Surf, and Signal Beam. I've got Charcoal on Mina for the fire. I've also given Mina quite a bit more coverage than Mina had. Mina was just fire and normal before. Mina now has a Shadow Claw and an Earthquake to go with the rest of her moves. Uh, Swift is still there just in case something double teams or something crazy like that. I've got Choice Specs on Domo. Um, there is a little risk that I wind up forced to swap on something because I'm using like, Psybeam into a Psychic Pokemon or something like that, but it gives so much extra special attack and Domo is already incredibly fast that I'm hoping that helps me one-shot a few things. Uh, I've got Soft Sand on my Quagsire so that Earthquake hits even harder, and I've got a Quick Claw on Machoke so that I can get off uh, our easy cross chops and just murder things with its incredible attack and inability to miss. I am going to use a couple of PP ups. I have a few sitting around, so I'm okay using some of them, even on things that may not go to the second half of the game. I am in the wrong thing, that's in medicine. I'm going to use a PP up on cross chop. And I'm going to use a PP up. Um, man, I'm not sure anything else really needs it. I'm just going to use it on cross chop again. And I'll save the other two. Okay. Well, I think that's enough stalling. Uh, I have no idea who to lead because I have no idea who's first. Um, let's see. What's got really good coverage and 
is fairly strong against a lot of things. I guess Mina's a decent lead? Mm, Diaz has Yawn, so let's, let's lead with Diaz. Diaz is immune to two different types of damage. Alright, oh, wish me luck. Here goes the Elite Four Johto. Attempt number one blind. I don't know what the trainers have, I don't know who they are other than Koga, and I'm assuming a dark type. So let's see. Merci. Anything I'm missing? Got the items set, I've got the healing, I've got the right team, I'm leading with the one that I want. I can't think of anything that I'm missing, and no one's told me that I'm... Do I have my rare can I do have my rare candies. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them, but they are on me. Thank you. Here we go! Uh... Boxes. I'm guessing dark? Um, this is a really risky lead. Hello, Sage. Uh, I'm guessing this is dark. That's that's the vibe I'm getting from this. All right, Shanti, you ready? Shanti let out a battle cry. Let's do this. Hello, Will. Psychic? Oh no! <laughs> this is horrible! I have the worst possible lead! <sighs> okay. Psychic flying. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, this is... <laughs> This is Shanti could not be a worse lead than for this. Um, all right, psychic flying, psychic flying. Um, oh, I don't have battle animations on. That's annoying. I'll have to fix that for the next one. All right. Give it the old thunderbolt. Oh, confused. That's not good. Well, at least it hit through. Good job, Whiskey. Burn that Zatu. Ooh, and a crit! Whiskey with the... powerful move. Why did... Oh, Kishanti was in. Right. Alright. Good, good. That's why I edged, so I could immediately gain levels. Jinx. Interesting, interesting. So you are Ice Psychic. Yeah, I know. I say it that way on purpose. Um, Ice Psychic. I could stay in and Signal Beam, but I do have um, Confusion on. So I am going to Ice Psychic, Ice Psychic. Well, give me one second while I remember exactly how a certain type chart works, because I have forgotten how ground and ice interact. I don't think they interact, but... Oh wait, no, ice might be super effective against ground, so I don't think I want ground out. Oh right, and this thing is broken. Never mind, I know, ice is super effective against ground. Um, okay, so I think this is a job for Mina. Hello. Mina fell asleep. That's not ideal. Hmm. Well, let's see if she can't wake up. Nope, she can't wake up. And Psychic deals way too much damage. Wow. Okay, that's a problem. Um... Alright, assuming she uses Psychic again... I'm going to switch into Domo. Alright, good. 
That's not very effective. And now, I have a ghost move for you. I'm pretty fast, and I have choice specs on, so this should kill you. Oh no, it doesn't! And now Domo's asleep. God damn it. Full restore. It's okay, Domo, wake up. Ah! I think you've got one more try. Good job, Domo. Okay. Don't crit. Alright, and I'm faster. So the Jinx is down. Domo is lower than I'd like, but we'll work with it. Domo's up. Wants to learn Future Sight. What the fuck does that do? Two turns after this move is used, the foe is attacked with a hunk of psychic energy, and it's only got 90 accuracy. I don't have time for two turns. Give up on Future Sight. Alright, what you got left? Three more. Another Zatu. Another Zatu. Hmm. Well, it worked last time. Let's do it again. Hello. Ominous Wind. It's Attack Rose. Oh, wow. What? It got an Omni Boost? Oh, whiskey, why? Um, Omni Boost seems a little good. What's Diaz got against this? Diaz has Surf. Just based on special, it just got ugh, that Omni boost though. I don't want to swap into Tiny or Shanti because they probably get one shot. Domo can't take a hit from where he is. Diaz is probably my best bet. Hello. That was not a crit. Holy shit. Okay. So, first trainer, I'm already fucked. What do I do? I guess we go back to Whiskey because he's not confused anymore. Hope he doesn't confuse me again. 83 to 16. Well then. What, uh. Hmm. I apologize for the dinging, but that's gonna be there for a second while I check a thing or two. Because. I need to see what a Zatu's speed is. Alright, Zatu is likely to be... 97-ish in speed. So way faster than Lantern. Wow! Um... I don't... I don't know what to do here. I'm faster. 
I'm decently specially defensive. Hmm. What do I mind losing the least? Probably tiny at this point. Unpleasant, but it may be a sacrifice that is necessary. Oh, I was lucky. Well, not really. Uh, I didn't actually check. What's your stats on speed? Doesn't really matter. Yeah, you're slower. All right, Tiny. Um, I apologize. I'm pretty sure you're dead. Do we go for the high roll hypnosis if he gets a move, or we go for damage? Nope. Farewell, Tiny. This is off to a terrible start. Oh, it's faster. Wow. Oh, right, it got the boost. Nope. I think we've failed the Elite Four team. I think we're losing at the first hurdle. Because I'm still asleep. Oh, Mina, still asleep. Well, this was a quick Elite Four. Quick Claw Rock Tomb? No. Yep. That will be the end of me. And that puts me down to one Pokemon. that already is slower and definitely dies to Psychic. Well, that couldn't have gone worse. Well, I guess I could have lost to the first Zatu. I did not guess the correct type of trainer. Awkward. I suppose... No, no, no. None of this. That is a full reset. Back to the beginning we go. No info needed. Well, since I was planning to be here for... Yep. I was planning to be here for a little while, so I'm at the very least going to get started. I've got quite a few things that I want to do differently in this run. Uh, let's see here. Let's update a number of things here. Let's start with... Attempt 2. No deaths. Latest death. Branch. Source. Will. Cause. Dark. Is not psychic. Alright. Oh, and I've done that again. Dip. Dip. There we go. Okay, so that was an abysmal lead. Had I been leading with Domo, that might have gone a little bit better. But that's okay. So, 
all of the badges do go. I do need to update all of that stuff. Uh, badges, turn them all off. And sprites used should be hearts and gold and soul silver. And I will need to update the team once it gets data that I have Pokemon. Won't be able to do that until I get new Pokemon. Well, I was a girl last run. I will be a boy this run. Oh, I've got to get my whole tracker and all that stuff done. I am boy wrench this time. I guess I could just be wrench, because that is how I identify as well, so let's just be wrench. Well, I'm sorry to anyone who is excited to see someone past Will. I uh, didn't didn't make it past Will. But that's all right. Yeah, absolutely. I have. I'm gonna avoid a lot of the early encounters that I had that time, in favor of better places or better portions of. Lyra? Who the hell is Lyra? Oh, Lyra's the Meryl Haver. So I never really talked about it, but I was assuming that my, um, uh, Ethan was his name, uh, was gonna be the champion. Hi, Mom. Oh, I need to change some things. My friend Lyra was just here. Lyra's a nice name. I like that name. Use this bag to carry things. Thanks. My trainer card. Thanks. Save. Options. Cool. Let's set some options. Alright, we want fast tech speed. Battle style always to set. And let's find a better frame. I used purple last game. Let's go with... Huh? Like, power of will? Like, they, a lot of them have that. Like, there's Bugsy is the bug trainer. He's willpower. Hmm, I kind of like the bricks one. Let's go with the bricks one. Alright. And let's get a Pokemon. Alright, let's get annoyed by a Meryl. Oh god, it's Femwrench! She's come to kill us. Hello. Ah! You pushed me. Uh, battle animations start automatically on. This is a new game. doesn't have any of my old settings. So, I'm pretty sure that... Um, Fire Pokemon at the start is categorically the best choice um, because there are not a lot of Fire Pokemon around. But I may just pick a different one to vary the attempts a little. Um, it may mean I don't end up with the Fire Pokemon, but I think that's a risk I'm willing to live with. What was I? I was trying to figure out. I'm having a hard time talking and also typing for some reason. Um, I'm trying to remember where I keep my name thing. There it is. Okay, so I need to update the names thing so that all of the names are back in the pool. Soul Silver name list. So let's grab all of these, put them all back in the 
option pool. And we will see who our starter Pokemon is named after. Delete cells, shift up. Take all of this. And randomize it. Go to random.org. I want one to a certain number. All right. Well, that's cool. I mean, I haven't actually picked a Pokemon yet. I just picked a nickname. <sighs> Picking the fire Pokemon is best since I'm worried about optimization. I mean, I did run into a bunch of grass Pokemon that run. I had uh, a Bellsprout that I definitely lost. I had a few others here and there, Tangela, um, some other things. I only ever had the one fire Pokemon, and it was a Vulpix, and Ninetales is kind of meh. Um, what does Chikorita evolve into? I don't even know. Let's see, the first gym is flying. Well, here, I'll I will all the people in chat, what what should I take? I'm I'm willing to take any of these. Um, what do people want me to take between Totodile, Cyndaquil, and Chikorita? I see one vote for fire. Anyone have a preference on which of these I take? I know the name, but I'm not going to tell you so that you don't try to associate it with the personality of the person. But the name is someone that's in chat, so that's a good thing. One vote for fire, no other votes. Cyndaquil. I see a vote for Cyndaquil, a vote for Totodile. I personally think Totodile is the worst option because I had water Pokemon coming out of my ears, but I'll do it if that's what people want. Fire is cool and optimal. Is that, is that a vote for Cyndaquil? Well, I see one and a half votes for Cyndaquil, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go with Cyndaquil, the Fire type Pokemon. And as I said, the name is someone in chat. Our Cyndaquil will be named Sage. Well, I'm glad you voted Fire Sage because it's named after you. Our new buddy Sage will join us on our journey. Alright. What? Cool, I got potions. Not that I can use them in battle, but they might still be helpful. Alright, so let's see, now that I have a Pokemon... Damn it. Okay, Lyra. You got a way better Pokemon this time than, than last time. That poor coughing. Alright, let's see. I want to update my... All right, maybe I need to start a new end session. Uh, add new session. Try 
Drag the room you want to play onto this window. Okay. Sorry, doing some setup to get the Pokemon shown again. Why is this not working? Look, I won't be leading with something that's four times damaged by, or not too, super effective by everything from his Zatu. <sighs> okay, tools, loose scripting, new loose script. I did that. Well, I'm going to keep on moving for now. I'll figure out what's going on with this later. Maybe it's be Oh, maybe it's because I already have one running. Close all script windows. That would make sense. Well, I have no idea what's going on with my thing. I will fix this later. For now, we have Sage. We're going to run about... I mean, at the very least, I know there's a psychic type lead. Huh? Ugh. Make me do random stuff, fine. I might need to, like, close the game and restart it to get the Pokemon tracker to work. Yes, I remember how to make phone calls. What's Sage's nature? Sage is... Edamant. So, uh, up special attack, down at- or no, up attack, down special attack. No, Sage. Sage is adamant. Not... Let's see, if I can save now, let's save over, up, select B at the, wait, what? It is impossible to save. Plus up, select B at the title screen if you want to erase the current saved game file. What? Okay, um, I guess I have to go to the title, well, fuck. I'm doing things wrong. I'm going to still pick Cyndaquil and it's still going to be Sage, but you might end up with a different nature because apparently I need to go to the title screen. Uh, how do I quit? Is there a quit option? That's not how you quit. Uh, I guess I could do that. Sure, that's what those are for. Alright, hold on a second. Go change everything. All my badges are gone. Zoom tight. Okay, so Soul Silver. Alright, 
it said up, select, and B. I don't know what my select key is. Wait, what? No? Why did I make my select key? Dang it! All of this... I was not expecting to have to do this this quickly. I didn't didn't plan to die to the first trainer. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay. Select is right shift. Delete all saved data. Did I do it? I didn't do it. Yes. Once data has been deleted, there is no way to recover it. Furthermore, Pokewalker register data. I don't even know what the Pokewalker is. Ah, damn it! it! Makes sense that it would start on no. Technical issues. Yes. Uh, it's in the slowest possible text. Yes. Goodbye, friends. Well, I mean, I'll get most of your names back, hopefully. And a bunch of people who already died. So, you know, it'll be better for everyone. I had like a hundred hours because of the speed up? I don't know. So, as I think Griff was mentioning, I can get some better encounters this time. Um, some things that I got foolish encounters included the route uh, just to the north of the starting town uh, that connects to a route that's near the Dragon City, whose name I forget already. Um, there's the dark cave where I could get something like a Wobbuffet. There are uh, plenty of places where I screwed up, like I killed that, or I ran away from that slowpoke that I could have gotten early. So, you know, lots of room for improvement on that run. All right, now can I Lotus A's state from here? Pop. Save. Dang it! Save state doesn't work. Somehow, I have to redelete all my files. Well, all right. One more time. Ah, trying to click too fast. Sheesh. So we're just going to do this all again. We're going to rename our Syndical Sage, and we're going to get on the road to not being dead to the Elite Four. Disappointing, if I'm honest. Losing to the first trainer is pretty embarrassing. But I knew Psychic was one of my potential weaknesses. Had I brought a Slowbro instead of uh, Machoke, as I had considered. No info needed. Go fast. Sorry about the music. We'll fix that later. Here, I'll fix it now. Tools. Turn off music. Somewhere in here. Down settings. No sound. Okay. 
I'm a dude. I'm a dude named Wrench. We will have to figure out what our rival is called in this round. I would name my rival Wrench because I am my own greatest enemy, but that would be confusing. Alright, go downstairs. Mom teaches me all about the inventory. Thank you for giving me all of these things. Okay, now I should be able to turn on my Lua script, paste this in. Next. Okay, so I don't have any Pokemon yet, so that makes sense. Here we go. Continue to let this run at quick speed for purposes of people walking slowly around and noticing one another. If anyone has an idea for what my rival should be named, I'm more than happy to hear it, because I don't have a good one other than naming it French. Pokemon that I could choose from. Alright. So, I'm sorry if you end up with a different nature. That's just how that's going to be. Alright. And we... Cyndaquil is named Sage. It is still a male Cyndaquil. I have the tools to change nature, but I'd rather not mess with the, the file if I can help it. I was always going to be frustrated with the, um, the fact that I had different HP values than originally, because it could have meant that my Cyndaquil, uh, I think it was a Quilava at that point, would have died to the rival fight. Um, so, I'd rather not mess with things if I can help it. Alright, we can get the sound back now. I get it. Alright, so Sage is now gentle. Uh, low defense, high special defense. Alright. Got some potions, and we're back to where we were, with the exception of saving, or getting my, uh... Ugh. Okay, Lyra Dawnbringer, just chill. Like, I'm convinced that the childhood friend has got to be the champion, right? There's no other person that really fits that role. The only other person that would make any sense is Lance, and I know he's the dragon trainer for uh, the Kanto Elite Four, so... I guess there could be the, the dude that was following me around about Suicune? Yes, I remember how to make a phone call, thank you. I just said I know. Why do you tell me anyway? Thank you. Go away, Mom. Okay. Save. I would like to save the game. Alright, 
Well, let's go on our Pokemon adventure that we've never been on before. This is our first one. All right, seven more people are going to stop me to tell me things. Why didn't it just give me the Pokegear in the... I don't know, maybe I have to have a Pokemon first? Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Alright, we can't get a Pokemon yet because we don't have the ability to catch Pokemon, so none of the fights that we have here count for our encounters. None of the zero fights that we have here. Alright, so things not to do. Don't fish for a Magikarp because there's a Lake of Rage where I definitely get one. Don't go up past that guy over there because there's no reason to waste my encounter that early. Don't go in Dark Cave. Don't get an unknown. Yep, ghastly at night from Sprout Tower, definitely. Don't get any water Pokemon, because I'm going to get a lot of them in places that there's only the option for. Alright, cool. Running shoes. Thank you, Mr. Man. Okay. And then, where did I have to go? I wasn't even paying attention. Is it here? It's usually here. Do you have a package for me? No? It won't let me buy Pokeballs. Oh yeah, thanks. What's up, man? Thank you. You're a nice old fellow. Alright. Moving on to Route 30. Nope. Oh, still not able to catch Pokemon, so this is not our encounter. All right, Sage, let's test you out in battle. Take down a bird. Oh, I never increased the text speed. That's a thing I'll have to do. Starting to worry me here. Sage missed? All right, we each miss a tackle. Starting to worry me here, Sage. Alright, well. Let's go... Let's go heal. That would have not been an auspicious debut to have to reset again. And while we're here, let's change some menuing. Alright, so battle scene on tech speed fast, battle style set, frame type bricks. 
Alright. It's fine. Sage was just nervous. And also has, what was it, weak defense and good special defense? It's going to be a problem early, but later in the game that'll be good. No, it has, yeah, weak defense and strong special defense. So that's going to be a problem in the early days. Oh, and I have to go get the levels again. It's not a current concern because we're not ready to face a gym, but... I'm gonna find something to put on the levels. Why is this thing not showing the badges? Hold on. There we go. I should probably buy some antidotes because of that. How much is poison going to do? Two? Alright. As long as you don't miss this tackle. We're not making a lot of progress in getting to Mr. Pokemon's house here. But Sage gained a level, so that's a good thing. Alright, well... Let's go heal off the poison. And let's buy some antidotes. That's not the door. That is the window. We are not allowed to climb in the window. Uh, how much money do I have? 3k? So I'll get 3 antidotes. And I'll get 2 paralyzed heals. Alright. Let's keep on inching our way toward Mr. Pokemon. Alright. The first tile. I'm excited to get new Pokemon. This first tutorial phase is a little aggravating, but getting a new shot should be fun. I won't be ambushed by the rival anymore. I still don't know what's... like. I think the most frustrating thing is I still have no idea what's in the Elite Four past the first guy. So, all right, you won a battle and we can keep on going. Good job, Sage. Other names, what do you mean? Hello? I don't know. I have not gotten to them, so I don't get to know. They haven't told me. Part of my challenge is not knowing. Which is one of the reasons I lost. Had I known that was a psychic trainer, I probably would have brought a slightly different team. I definitely wouldn't have led how I did, so I would have had an advantage starting with Shadow Ball on Domo. And... Who knows what have happened. But next time I will know. The string shot animation is so slow. Does this count as does this count as grinding? I think this counts as grinding. Yeah, I mean, if I was guaranteed a win, then where would the fun be? It's 
the whole idea. Now instead of a team full of level 42 Pokemon, I have a level 6 Cyndaquil. Alright, so for the purposes of getting to the point where there's actually fun things happening, I am going to just put on some other music, speed up the thing. Is that okay? Speed up the thing. And grab, I don't know, where's my music? Oh no. Oh, I have a second song playing. Has that been going the whole time? I hope not. That would be annoying if that had been playing the whole time and I just didn't notice it. Alright. Got an apricorn. I'm getting an egg, right? Sage. You're gonna give me like a Pokedex. How do you know that I've treated Sage with love and care? Sage and I have been out for just a little bit of while. A little bit of time. Okay, fetch quest achieved. Or reverse fetch quest. Yeah yeah, my rival stole Totodile. Sage levels to eight. All right, just in case, we're going to use that potion, uh, medicine. First rival fight. Hello, passerby boy. Ho! Don't crit me again. Okay, that was spooky. And he pushes me again. That would have been a familiar way to lose my starter. With a crit from my rival. Hello, tipster. Thank you for the raid. I am starting a new run based on having died to the Elite Four. Nuzlocke challenge lost. So, you're seeing me at the very start of a Soul Silver run. Raise your penguins. Alright. Uh, anyone have any Good ideas for the name of my rival. 
best one I've seen is my name backwards because I am definitely my own worst enemy. Humphrey. I have been asked to send love to them, to someone's wine aunt. Pardon? I have been asked to send love to someone's wine aunt. Um, why, why Humphrey? H-C-N-E-H-R. Just because it's me. How do I say that? Knair? It's a really... Humphrey is a perfectly cromulent name, but it doesn't fit. There's not enough space. Is, is a very cromulent name. All right, we're gonna go with Knir. Very strong name. Thanks, Lyra. Here's your egg. I don't really care about your egg. Like, I get that it's the point of the game, but like, why does he go from, hey, help me out, to, you're gonna fight all the Pokemon trainers? Now Lyra teaches me how to catch Pokemon. No, I was... Ugh. I liked that that was that way. So now that I have Pokeballs, the run has officially started. So let's turn off Vitality, turn the music back on. Thank you. I will note that down for future reference. Alright, so, let's... I actually have Pokeballs. Did I, did I see that right? I was letting it go pretty quickly. Pokeball pocket. Yeah, I have five Pokeballs. So let's get our first Pokemon right after I do some Temporal Magic. Whoa, why did that happen? What's going on with that? I don't I don't want this big thing here. Go away. Okay. Oh, I know why. Okay. And because of temporal magic, we have received our first encounter, a Hootoot. Nope. Broke free. Try again. This thing does not want to stay in the ball. We'll give it one more ball before we start lowering its health. Okay, since it hasn't even shaken once, we're gonna 
hit it. I'm afraid Sage is going to crit, but oops, no. And Sage missed. Sage, you're embarrassing me in front of the raid. Alright, let's try again. Oh my... This thing does not want to be... caught. What the heck? I have one Pokeball left. Alright, this is going to be our best chance. Are we going to miss out on the first Pokemon of our run? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, last chance. All right. Oh, another thing I'm going to do differently this run is I'm going to create a dead box for Pokemon as opposed to um, releasing them. So that way I can be sure about like routes where I've lost things and um, look at all of my dead friends, make sure I don't reuse names, that sort of thing. Thanks for being here, Griff. All right, so let's get a new nickname. Oh, that's a name we didn't even use last time. Our Hoot Hoot. Actually, did we use it? No, we used it, but we didn't use the Pokemon at all. We are going to, whoops, go with Murder Princess. S. Welcome to the team, Murder Princess. All right. Let's just in case something happens on the way. Go into our medicine and heal up both of you. All right. Let's see if we can't get Murder Princess some XP. Ha! A slightly lower level Hoot Hoot. So I can't even complain this time about uh, a lack of Gen 2 Pokemon. I have immediately got a Gen 2 Pokemon. Oh, I should also go back to real time. What is with my Pokemon and missing right now? Alright, this is already ridiculous because of the growling, so we're just going to do it this way. But I'm excited about having a Hoot Hoot, something we didn't have last time. Sage, why? Why are you missing so often? It is far too often. It's okay, buddy. We'll, we'll take it out slowly because of all the growling, but we'll do it. There you go. Good time to crit. Not against the one we're trying to catch. Level 3 Pidgey. Hmm. 
make it so that it hurts me a little less. Ow. Should be fine for one more. Crit would be six, right? Well, let's not risk it. That seems foolish. No reason to risk Murder Princess's life. Alright, so we need to get more Pokeballs, and there's at least another encounter between here and the next location. Uh, let's see. There's a thing I can do where I can track all of my routes. What route is this that I'm on? Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I am on Route 29. Okay, so I can track all of my routes in here. Oh, does it do it? It automatically does it. That's incredible. Thank you, game. through to the healing. Let's heal up. And then go catch presumably a Weedle. Last time we started with Pidgey Weedle. I guess we could wind up with a Pidgey as well. Um, need Pokeballs, so I don't go into an encounter with none. That would be bad. Do you sell Pokeballs now? You do. I would like a lot of Pokeballs. All of my money worth in Pokeballs. We are now destitute, but we are Pokeball rich. Okay. I was hoping you might give me a TM or something. I didn't remember. Alright, uh, I should probably lead with my stronger Pokemon. Though that does risk crit killing something. Got another potion, which is nice. Alright, what is our encounter for this route? It is a Pidgey. Alright. Let us throw a Pokeball. Let's see if this is as hard to catch as a Hoot Hoot. It is not. All right, and we need another new name. And, okay, our Pidgey's name shall be... This name has been a little bit cursed. Not quite as cursed as Griff, but... Pidgey shall be Jarka. Jarka was the first Pokemon that I lost in a Nuzlocke, actually. But then it was a Weedle. Alright, so we're heavy on the flying types right now. Let's take a look at abilities. I hadn't actually looked at... Alright, we've got... Insomnia on the Hoot Hoot. Blaze I knew, and Keen Eye on the Pidgey. Okay. That's all fine. 
flap, flap, flap. All right, murder princess. Let's take down this Pidgey. So for people who are not familiar, um, wow, that was a crit for 10. Um, for people who are not familiar, all of the Pokemon that I am naming are named after friends of mine, uh, or their handles. Obviously, Murder Princess isn't a friend of mine's real name, uh, just something she goes by now and then online. And uh, I am excited to have my friends helping me in these battles, like my good friend Sage, who has been in chat and has been lamenting Cyndaquil Sage's meh performance thus far. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, he will. He's just warming up. Mina Sanuki had uh, a very rough time early as well. Got down to 1 HP, in fact. Sage has never had anything like that happen. Alright, so let's lead with Murder Princess. Our first, oh well, I guess we had a rival battle. Our first non-rival trainer battle. Alright, Joey. Let's see what you got. Six damage. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to switch train it, that's fine. That's how you gotta do early. This thing. Alright, should be a two hit, as long as Sage doesn't miss, we're in the clear. Yes, you are. No. No one gets my number this time. Ugh, I'm gonna go heal just in case. I don't want to spend all, literally all of my potions. It's slow going this far, but we're getting there. There is another encounter between here and the next city, and there's also Dark Cave where I could get an encounter, but I'm going to avoid because there's better stuff in other pockets of the Dark Cave. And the only thing I can get in this corner of the Dark Cave is Zubat and Geodude, which I can get in other locations as well. Alright, let's get Murder Princess some more XP. Our team is very Sage-centric right now. Murder Princess isn't doing a whole heck of a lot of damage. I have to wonder if maybe her attack stat is low. Half of what the Pidgey did back to her. It's a tackle off. Hooray! Yeah, her attack's not great, but her defense is the lowest though. But she does get a cool utility move early, so that's a good thing. 
All right, I am gonna go back to speed. Since this is all fun and games, I'll slow it down when we get to another encounter. But for now, just want to get to the fun parts as fast as I can. Attack strong? Wow, Hoodoots must have really poor attack naturally. Low defense, which explains why it's taking so much damage. That is two Pokemon. All three of my Pokemon have low in one of the two defense stats. That is concerning. Because Charka is rash. All right, well, we'll see how this goes. a Weedle, but we don't get that. Put it to sleep. No. Alright, the whole point of this was to do this. And you got poisoned, so you're not staying in anyway. But that doesn't mean I'll give it a chance for Jerker to do it. So 13 is the level I have to worry about for the first gym. It, from what I've seen, it drops them to one and then says the poison wore off. But we won't find out because I got them back at two. Yeah, it works out pretty nicely. I haven't seen one do it, but it could have been just like a coin flip and I got lucky every time. Right. Good hypnosis. Now do some damage. Good job, Murder Princess. I just needed to have the right move for you. Creepy thing to say, Sage. It was tragic. I didn't play particularly wisely, even considering my bad lead. Undied. Alright, level four, rat it up. Quick attacks dealing four. Oh, nice crit. Good job, Hoot Hoot. Go 
something. The goal is to capture as many Pokemon as possible. So I think. Katamari. I don't think you're a trainer. Thanks. Um, what route is this? I know this route changes at some point. This is still Route 30, but it changes to 31 above. Hello, Bug Catcher Don. Jerk has some solo XP. I've already been string shotted by your companion. Alright, good job, Jerka. Mom is calling. Hi, Mom. Yeah, you can save money. That's cool. Alright, Route 31. What is the best thing to lead? Something that probably won't kill, but won't be likely to die. Yuck. I guess I could just throw smoke screens if I have to worry about Sage getting in trouble. Alright, let's see what we get. Nope, this doesn't count. Pidgey is not allowed. We already have one. Ow. Okay. Sage misses the first tackle and takes two crits. What the heck. I guess we're going and healing. I do not want my uh, cause to say Pidgey crits killed my Cyndaquil. That would be incredibly depressing. Let's try this again. Another Pidgey. Not what we're here for, but we need XP anyway. Cool. Another level for Hoot Hoot. Apparently, Pidgeys are the in thing right now. We get a Weedle. Alright. Pokeball for the Weedle. Oh no! One more try. Nope. Alright, this Weedle wants to be difficult. How about now? There we go. And Weedle... Hey, darling. I I uh, rolled your name. You're a Weedle. <laughs> yes. Weedle 
So my Weedle's name shall be Flarolin. Welcome to the team, Flarel and the Weedle. Alright, I'm not going in Dark Cave because I don't want to waste a good encounter for later. Pretty sure this dude isn't a trainer. This dude is a bug catcher. And he has a bunch of level 2 Caterpie. Oh no, I am slowed. Right, let's... Oh, Flareland's still asleep. All these string shots. Alright. And Wade's gonna ask for my number. Wade actually gives me items. So I'm going to accept his number. But I'm going to generally reject numbers just because all they do is bother me. Uh, yep. Let's... Move along. And then Lyra's gonna be in here. Thanks for the thing I can't use. Alright. And we can wake Flarelin up. We can also go get our next encounter. But not before making it nighttime. Actually, hold on. I'll go here first. And then. It is now 11 p.m. Amazing. Sprout Tower. We got a ghastly! Well, it's our encounter. We don't have it yet. Oh, it wasted my premier ball. Um, it occurs to me, I have literally nothing that can damage this. So, that's a problem. Wait, uh, Weedle has Poison Sting, right? That's not going to be very effective, and will take half an hour for it to do anything. Um, yeah, so we're going to throw Pokeballs till we're at, like, six. Okay, good enough. Whew! Got a Ghastly. That, that is good news. All right, and Ghastly, um, actually, that was a name, it shouldn't have been on the list. <laughs> Our Ghastly will be named Mina Sanuki. Since the original Mina died in the Elite Four run, I guess 
Mina's a ghost now. Welcome back to the team, Mina. I do really love the Ghastly Haunter line. I can't make it a Gengar, but the fact that I've got a ghost already means I'm super happy. And if the reason you're just saying is so that I give you the name, that's that's not going to happen. I've had that happen too much, where people are like, I want to be X, Y, and Z, and like, nobody's going to be like, I want a coughing. Sage was super excited about it last time, but... You know. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good start. I agree with you. Like, somebody's got to be the bad Pokemon. So I figure, rather than my friends being all upset that nobody gets to be, or n nobody wants to be the bad Pokemon and everybody wants to be the good ones, I'm just going to make it all random. That's how it always goes. Like, my wife got named after a Weedle. It is pretty clear I'm not playing favorites here. Alright, um, I probably... Oh wait, it's all going to be routed as now. Uh, and I need to not get over... 13, I want to say? 13 is the Flying Gym. So we're okay for now. Hello, sir. What are your Pokemon? You have a level three. I accept. Hello, sir. Sage Chow. Well, he's... Oh, I, I feel like I should bring Sage out so that his Pokemon can be, like, food for Sage and therefore it's Sage Chow. But I'm just going to use my Hoot Hoot. Yes, you get the move pack. Um, oh, I guess I could have used Foresight against the ghosts. Um, let's see. I definitely want Peck. I don't think I'm going to use Growl a whole lot, and there's at least one ghost in the rival fight after the bug gym. So for now, we're going to hold on to Foresight. I should probably start training some of my other stuff a little bit as well. What a surprise, it's a red arm. But I already have my encounter for up here, so... You saw me. What do you have, sir? More level 3 bell sprouts. Fair enough. Did that... that crit for 3. Hey, Jerka learned a flying move too. I guess that means it's time to train... I don't know... Mina? I 
doubt a level 3 knows any... Oh, but I can't. Okay. We are equally unable to harm one another. something stupid. The chillin' berry. Alright, well, let's get Sage out of there. Okay, we are going to leave the tower for now, I'm going to have Mina in the lead so that no damage can be taken, go heal everybody up. I think my plan, since obviously the original plan was to go through the entire Elite Four, um, I think my plan is to get done with Sprout Tower, maybe do the first gym? I think that's a reasonable plan. Maybe I'll get my last encounter. There's a couple of places I could go for that. Everything I can go train against is normal type, so it's kind of hard to level Mina without switch training right now. So I guess we switch train. switching in when I have no possibility of taking damage. Uh, let's see if Flareland can take this. Oh no! Four damage from a tackle? No. Probably not going to beat that anyway, so might as well swap. Ooh, nice crit, Sage. There you go. That's how you do it. Sir, you have a single level six spell spread. I have an owl that knows how to pick. Nice crit. Harder princess with a kill. Mina grows. Mina learns spite. Plenty of pecs to go around. Flareland gets a love. It's an awkward tile to have an encounter on. Or it's not an encounter, but a wild battle on.
four damage. Sage levels to ten. Sage learned Ember, hooray! That is valuable. What do you have? Sage try. See, it's interesting. There's a whole tower full of people who have. They have your name and then another name added. They must all really like Sage the Cyndaquil. Dude, that's spooky. Clarelin grows. And you have a hoot hoot. Oh, it has Key Knight, derp. Um, so we're both sand attacking each other and failing. Cool. Jacka gets a solo kill, dings to 10. Another Sage defeated. I'm pretty sure I don't actually fight the rival here. But, in case I've forgotten how this goes... Uh, I'm gonna run down a ladder. Go heal. I remember this... There, I think that's... I think it's enough Katamari. Um, let's go with... I don't know. I remember the person in the tower having a fairly strong hoot hoot. See what Flareland's got. Flareland's got seven damage from the tackle. Yeah, that's not worth. Nice poison though. Yeah, we'll do a little training here, get some levels before we go challenge the top level person. I probably shouldn't have... Right there might have killed Flareland, so let's get her out. Get him out. High proc on the poisons so far. Been very effective. Oh, well then. All right. The level 6 Rattata is not fucking around. Didn't even gain a level there. I don't know, am I able to... I think I'm able to leave and go get my encounter for... Actually, let's go see. Also, why did it not look like my Pokémon healed? Okay. 
let's go see if I can get an encounter down here. Mm, Route 32, I can. I could get a Mareep in these bushes, I'm pretty sure. What do you think, Hoot Hoot? Poking at the ground. I assume that means let's get a Pokemon. Hey! Oh, but I've got a flying Pokemon out. Fuck. Do level 6 Mareeps know an electric attack? That is important question. Most things at that low level don't know anything other than tackle. Why is Bulbapedia being such a dick right now? Going maintenance, okay. Uh, fine. Okay, Mareep. Lane set, generation four. You learn Thundershock at level 10, so you should be fine to stay in for now. Not only is it a Mareep. Oh, it's a Mareep that wants to crit me. Back to sleep, you. As I was saying. <sighs> Mareep, please. No, wait, I don't have Gnosis at first. As I was saying, not only is it a Mareep, it is our Mareep! Let's see who gets the honor of being my chat's favorite Pokemon. And the Mareep will be... Patience. We got a Mareep chat! Woo! He's currently a sleepy Mareep. I know that's an exclamation point, but it looks like wool, and that's kind of funny too. So we have a full team of Pokemon again. Let's go get some levels. Quick attack for four, okay. Two tail whips, slightly concerning. But it missed the tackle. Oh, I should turn the sound on so we can hear Mareep's adorable cry. Oops, I need to actually be on the game before I start pressing buttons. Aww, such a baby.
I'm really happy we got a Mareep. Last time we got an Ekans there, and that, uh, that was not as good. And the Ekans also died horribly to that rival battle. Oh! And this means I actually have something that can deal with the uh, Totodile. Once Marie pits level 10, she will have access to an electric move and can just burn that little crocodile thing. I guess not burn, but zap that little crocodile thing instead of it killing most of my team. I'll still have Mina for the bugs. Patience will also be good against the flying gym. Yeah, we're looking like we're in okay shape right now. Alright, now that we've heard Murray being adorable, we're gonna go back to speedy mode. Patience be level 10 before I face the trainer at the top of this tower. Wow. Because the trainer at the top of this tower has a hoot hoot, and I would like something that is able to obliterate that hoot hoot. And that will be a lot of the difference between this run and the last run is that I will know far more about what I am getting myself into. that I can get ambushed. I still won't know what's after the Psychic Guy in the Elite Four, but I know that the Psychic Guy is at the start. So I won't lead with a goddamn Machoke. I'm not sure... One of the things I'll need to think about is what Pokémon I'm taking from Goldenrod. Because... Yes, we have a Mareep. Welcome back, Griff. Losing to the Elite Four makes it all worthwhile because now we have a Mareep again. Dead. Dead is the answer, Griff. For that is the curse of the name, Griff. No Pokémon can die as much as Griff can, because the first game, there was only Griff! <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, 
Magicians hits level 9. One more level and we'll be able to go fight the guy at the top of the tower. I'm not sure. The other option is I could get an Abra or one of the other Pokemon that's in the casino because I love playing Voltorb Flip, so I could always get one of those. An evolution is probably worth more than most of those. Yeah, considering that Dratini seems pretty doable in that Dragon Den, as long as I've got a Magikarp beforehand. I don't know that Sandshrew is worth as much as a dark type, for example. I think that's something I'm considering is going uh, whatever the dark type evolution is. Dark Eon. Umbreon, that makes sense. This Rattata loves to tail whip. Alright. We now have Electro Sheep online. Let's go heal. And then we'll go take on the dude at the top of the tower. Maybe other trainers will be like, oh, this Weedle has evolved to not take damage from fire. We shouldn't use fire on it. I don't, I don't think that's how that works. Anything? There we go. Couple more of those. Shimon's at level 10. Let me remember what exactly. He's 
got level sevens. That's fine. Let's lead with Jarka. Gasp. It's my rival. No, come back and schneer. Yes, check my ties. Ooh, I am asleep. It's a good knot. I like that knot. I was trying to just trying to play along. A sage for the sage. You have defeated elderly. So I have Flash, I've defeated this guy, Jerka is asleep, we can run while Jerka is asleep, that's fine. Jerka is fast enough to run in his sleep. Alright, so I think I'm going to take a quick bio break once I get back to the Poke Center. And then I am going to level my stuff up to 13 and take on the flying gym. For the very first time. Now I lost fair and square. Alright, I will be right back. I'm going to take a bio break. Uh, I will change the music up so that you have something else for this. Let's go with that. Oh, oh well, that can just be there.
All right, I'm back. That's not the right. There we go. And that's on the wrong thing. Soul Silver ones. And more supersonic racing. Let's just Okay. So we are going to train until everything hits level uh, 13. And I suppose Rado does a fine thing to try. Not a whole lot of surprises. Save the game. Just in case something crazy happens. Okay, game saved. is back in order. So yeah, we're gonna take down the flying gym and call that a good first restart, or a good restart. So while I am disappointed that I did so poorly in the Elite Four, this gives me an opportunity to have quite a few more options for my team that are hopefully not all murdered midway through the run. So we'll see how much better I can do with some game knowledge.
but I have a Kakuna now. My first evolution. Flarelin is concerned about the swaying pillar. Fair enough. something just relaxed well we have a full team of six we have one thing that's going to be super effective against the flying gym I remember not losing anything to the Flying Gym last time. Yeesh. Let's go to a place with some slightly different things. The potential guts routed us are starting to scare me. Uh, this is where we got Pidgey, I want to say. Or no, we got... I don't remember where we, what we got here. I guess I can look. Thirty-one. So that was Flare One. Oh well, Kakuna. Try to make it so that it hardens a little less. Oh no, it has shed skin. We just spam lick. I don't want to spite it, because then it would start struggling. And he gets a full level off that. 
Uh, I didn't actually look at the abilities of a bunch of my new Pokemon, so let's see. Got Levitate, which makes sense. Still Insomnia, still Kunai. So you have Shed Skin as well. I don't know what that's going to turn into when you become Beedrill. You have Static, which I saw, and you have Blaze. Okay. You are a Bellsprout. Okay. Put you to sleep, maybe? No. Mina, you know, you're not very accurate with this move. My Hoot Hoot is very good with that move, and you're not. Heal you up. Should also buy some potions so that I can use those. I'm not gonna waste resources too much, but having them available for if I'm stuck in the tall grass is a good idea. Uh, store, store, store. Some potions, please. Got six Pokeballs, we're okay for that for now. Yep, this isn't the way I want to go. Flareland. Mina grows. Mina learns mean look. Nice paralyze. Pretty sure Spite takes away power points from the last move they used. Oh! Last time I had Swarm on my Beedrill. I wonder if Shedskin turns into Swarm. Mina is just gonna lick this Kakuna for a while. going to be able to finish this thing. I don't think you have enough power points on... Ooh! Crit! It's going to be close, but the crit gets you there. Good job. Alright, you're not hurt, but you're not more or less out of damage moves. has been hitting a lot of poisons. Oh, 
I guess it's neutral because it's good against grass and it's bad against poison. And Bellsprout is both of those things. Alright, you're under half, so let's go heal both of you. That we're currently working on. Everyone's going to need a little bit of, of love before we go in. The Pidgeotto, I want to say, is level 13. Still don't want to mess around too much with. I really do like moves that are uh, abilities that do something in battle that you don't have to like activate. So things like Static, which is pretty good. Oh god. Um, and it can't be poisoned. Alright, well, this is just going to be how this goes. Um, the boosting moves are okay, but they're usually like, you have to be low health and that's not a place you want to be in a Nuzlocke. Keen Eye is alright, but that's very specific. Levitate's pretty good, basically give you the flying type without the weaknesses. Dodge ground moves. It's a good thing I've got 35 of these. Hey. swap their Pokemon out much. There we go. Something that Flareland can actually deal a little damage to. Kakuna doesn't have a whole lot of good matchups no matter what we're working on. Because if it runs into like an Ekans here, that's not going to be very good. Like, like that. Specifically like that. Alright. Yep, you can't wrap my ghost. Oh, you can use Poison Sting, though. Well, I'm super glad we got Mareep instead of Ekans, because it seems like Ekans is a much higher chance. And having a Ghost-type is so useful. So many things that it just ignores. Hello, Bell Sprout. I'm already faster than you, so there's no reason to string shot. I'm taking one damage, so there's no reason to harden. So we'll just jab you with Poison Sting. Mm -hmm. 
so close. Okay, did two. Still did two. figure out what I want to get a headbutt on. Once I get to there, that's a ways away, but something to think about. Different types of encounters. here and two Mareeps total. Super lucky. Yeah, at least I've got poison on it now. Still not enough to cover synthesis. It's okay. Flareland needs levels. If only the XP was determined by how many attacks you used. usable things about that, so I'm not actually suggesting it. Check something real quick. Where is my... what I want. Okay. Guess the thing's just not working quite right. That's fine. We are going to change the music because I don't want to fall asleep. Let's go with Team Plasma. Pop-ups are a bit annoying because of the synthesis, but in the case where they splash, pretty easy fight. Hello, Marie. Dealing three, huh? Let's reduce that. Oh no, my attack!
there's a chance to poison. There we go. I'm guessing this Mareep doesn't have static, because at this point I've attacked it so many times, I think I would have been staticked. I don't know what other options there are. Hooray! Flarelin is now a Beedrill. Huh? Flarelin is now a Beedrill. <laughs> to the B side. <laughs> no, and it does have Swarm. Cool. So we have our first fully evolved Pokemon. It is named after my wife. We still need to train everything a little, but I'll work on the lowest level thing for now. Lots of things that can't affect me now. Oh, Mina is paralyzed. None of that. No, oh, there are more Mareeps here than I thought. Why is why is it not hurting? What's going on? It's not it's hitting, but it's not dealing any damage. Oh, it's just dealing very little damage. Why? Paralysis shouldn't affect attack. Burn should. What is happening? I'm confused. No, let's not switch into something that can get blown up. Ah, Flareland, don't get paralyzed. And then miss. Okay, let's, let's go heal all this off. Okay, so the Mareep's a little annoying. If those keep coming up, we're going to have to not go there. The Poison Sting did make, seem to make contact. Or if it did, I don't know why it just... Did I win like 17 coin flips in a row? are just too short and I should consider finding music that is slightly longer in duration or that loops well. I guess some of these loop. All of the Helltaker songs loop pretty well as far as I'm concerned. Sprout's actually a mild threat to me now. Cool. Everything is at least level 10 now. I think it's time to get Sage some levels. Bunch of grass things there. 
Ember shouldn't make contact. So, that seems like a fine place. Am I wearing my hat backwards? Is that my hair coming out of the front? I thought you were like seven. You said level 13, right? So one more level for the sage. I assume you're referring to age there, not level. my Pokemon for this fight, I don't think it's going to be that necessary. I'm going to have enough respect to go to level 13. I remember the Pidgeotto was at least a mild concern and I got a little lucky getting through. I like how before you get the headbutt TM, it's still like you look at a tree and you're like, I could headbutt that. Sage wants to learn quick attack. I would love for you to learn quick attack. Um, tackle's garbage. Alright, so Sage is maximum level. Let's just get everybody there. Eventually I'll get like curse or something. And then I can like curse mean look. To sort of cheese my way through trainers. Slightly risky with no healing item, but I'll eventually get a shell bell that I won't put on a Zubat that I release. We're both paralyzed. Might as well go heal off the paralysis. Not like it's that far away. And what does the first guy have? Two Pokemon, I think. Yeah. I am still of the opinion that the gym leaders are too easy. Uh, 
Ah, static. Yeah, Whitney might uh, be a little scarier if she doesn't stick around. Yeah, Bugsy, Bugsy did. I'm mostly talking about the mid-game ones. Um, the fighting ice and dragon was a dragon was a fair fight. The fighting in ice gyms. I feel like should have had one more Pokemon each. something that can do, well, get miss. Do more than zero damage to Atkins, though. Ooh, a five hit! Very nice, Flareon. Good job. I always complain that I never get five hits. One of the problems with Beedrill having Swarm is that I don't have any bug-type attacks yet. Guessing somehow Poison Sting doesn't make contact because I've never been staticed from it. Cool. Excuse me. Oh. I know why the follow thing isn't updating properly, because at the time someone followed, my system timer was in night mode, and then someone followed after that, but it feels like, it seems like it's several hours before because of the night mode change. I guess I could, should probably turn battle animations off. I just have a tendency to forget to do it. Alright. Note to self, turn battle animations on before facing gym leader. Then it heals. And the crit kills. Nice job. Two more levels for Beedrill. Nothing. Nothing gets. Oops. I think it's through quite as fast as Sage did. Blairlin, please stop missing. Thank you.
Oh, hey, a Reddita. Been a while since I've seen one of those. Another level. There's not a whole lot of uh, choosing what Pokemon I'm going to use, because I've got exactly six at the moment. There are at least two encounters that I'm ignoring at the moment. And those are being ignored intentionally. So that I can get good stuff later. Because I'm pretty sure this team is enough to take on the flyer. Yeah, Mareep is probably gonna steamroll. But I've had that theory before? Yeah. I don't have anything that's a great switch. I can probably swap in... Hello, Potter Time. I can probably swap in Ghastly and not take damage, but Ghastly can't currently do anything since they are also normal types. Oh yeah, Gust is a thing they can do. So yeah, even that's not a good idea. So yeah, I want to make sure everything's as high level as it can be so that we can deal with whatever they throw at us. Like if it somehow survives the Electroshock, or Thundershock, and Sand Attacks, and then Mareep can't do anything. Oh shit, I forgot about the trainer in the gym. That is a thing I should deal with. Thank you. Hello. I'm here to murder your birds. You only have a bird. Goodbye. Next. What? Oh, you could you could dodge them. dead. Cool, that's dead too. See you later, Rod. Okay. That's resolved. I mean, it is helpful to have someone who knows the game's helping. Maybe, maybe I'm not just going to go for everything 13. I don't know. Last time I definitely didn't get anywhere near this. I think I had one thing at 
level 12 and everything else was like level 9. Like you said, I'm pretty sure the Mareep is going to be enough. Uh, I didn't know that you could get them in the ruins. I know you can get them surfing or fishing, if that's what you mean. Like I could get a whooper, for example. Oh, is that what's in that grass? I never really messed around in that grass. Alright, Mareep is now level 13. Isn't Smeargle the one that lets me paint other Pokémon's abilities? Or something? Yeah, I've actually seen that used to pretty ridiculous effect in some Nuzlocke runs. There's a way that you can, like, skill swap something that it has onto... Something. I might not have the tools in this game to do it. It might only be in another game. Okay. Uh, I have two Pokemon at level 13. And I have a Pokemon that is a pretty hard counter to this gym. So we're just going to go get us our first badge. Alright. That's... what is going on? Did I put this... Is this the normal speed? Holy crap, everything feels so slow. Anyway, uh, we are going to go face... Whatever the bird... what's his name? Tell me his name. Okay, that's not helpful. Thanks, though. We are going to go face Faulkner, that's his name. The Violet City Gym Leader. Hello, Faulkner. You said something about electricity. Would, would you like an example? Get him, Marie. I didn't turn on the battle animations. Oh well. Ooh, it's faster. And it missed the tackle. And it's paralyzed. Awkward. Well, that could have actually... I'm glad I had at least one other level 13, because had it hit its first tackle and crit its second, Mareep would have been pretty low. But as it stands, we have a badge. Thunder Wave. Well, that's badge numero uno. We have the Zephyr Badge. Well, with us getting the Zephyr Badge... And now having a TM. One that I never used last time, but I might actually use now. We started today with a team of level 42 Pokemon and took on the Elite Four and got absolutely crushed by Will. So 
that we've now gotten all the way back to our first badge, a team full of six Pokemon. We're... We're not quite back to where we were when we started today, but I think this has been some good progress already. We've got a decent team, some good encounters that we didn't have last time, including the Hoot Hoot and the Ghastly, and a Marie much earlier in the run than we had before. So, with that, I'm going to leave things here for today. I will be back at the very least on Thursday to continue, and... I'm sure you do like this start, Sage, and I'm sure it has nothing to do with the fact that you're much better represented than a coughing. But I'm glad uh, people were here to enjoy the restart. Um, sorry I got so badly trounced, but I imagine seeing a slightly more informed and uh, intelligent run will be a more interesting thing than me just slamming as many water Pokemon as I possibly can, which wasn't actually the problem. Had I had one more water Pokemon in that team in my Slowbro, or it was still a Slowpoke, but if I'd evolved it to a Slowbro, that probably would have been a better team for that fight. So, um, either way, thanks for being with me. I will get him next time, and I hope you see me next time. Have a good one.